Yo, g'day guys. Brisbane Brothers here. We got Ozzy and Dens. We're out working on this real nice XR here today, guys. It's a pretty cool project. It it's these. going from automatic column shift 221 to a 351 Cleveland 2V with a nice camshaft, a couple of goodies, 650 double pumper with a reconditioned C6. We've had a couple of little issues with fitting the C6 into the XR guys, which we'll cover in another video, in case anyone gets caught by the same thing, so you can all move through it. What we're going to cover today guys is priming the oil pump. If you have watched any of my Clevo King videos, you will see that I did the pre-start cam break-in videos. What we're going to break down on the Brisbane Brothers channel into a few segments is checking your oil pressure, setting up your carby transfer slots and then we're going to have the pleasure of fitting a full ice ignition to this engine here guys can't wait can't wait it's going to be sick so i'll show you how to pick the right program how to connect it we'll show you how to wire it up into a car that's got resistor wiring all right guys so we'll run you through what we've done with the car the first thing guys make a list Don't look you at have this to make list <laughs> each car has its own unique set of problems that you've got to overcome when you're building and it has its own set of things that you're going to have to modify regarding what you're doing whether you're going from auto to manual or back or forth what we've done so far guys before the engine and the gearbox goes in you want to fit your cable shift into the floor so that you're not drilling your bolts into the top of the bell housing or the gearbox so that that's one thing that we've done that's on the floor that's pro guys we've cut the case contoured it to shape and everything it is mint. We'll get some more footage of that later when I finish the reverse wiring, but I've done the neutral start switch already. It's real nice, guys. It's coming up real mint. This particular car is running a C6 automatic gearbox. We've encountered a few problems with that, guys, which we'll cover in a few tips too. We actually ordered a Castle Main Rod Shop cross member, which should get us out of trouble, but we're not 100% sure because it hasn't arrived yet. So what we're going to be doing now guys, priming the oil system. This is a brand new engine. What, what a lot of people like to do is connect the starter motor and turn the key and keep winding it over until you see oil coming up the push rods into each rocker. That means you've got oil pressure and each rocker arm and valve stem tip will be lubricated when you start the engine for the first time. We're a little bit ahead of getting to that stage but we're just going to knock it over today so that we can come back and get this ice ignition in. So the first thing to do Make sure the block's nice and clean. We'll get a quarter inch socket set, guys, over here. And we're gonna get a 516 socket. I think it's that little guy right there. Yep. We're gonna get this extension. Long extension. We're gonna get this one. And there. guess what we're gonna do, guys? For safety. You're gonna electrical tape the socket on and the extension together because the last thing you wanna do is not drop off into the oil pan when you're at this stage of the build quite important tip here guys check out the uh, products we're using on this on. piece so for running guys 50 40 it's a bit of a thinner oil yeah. we've also got the braking additive guys there's a few of these available this is a lucas one use the whole bottle whole bottle you've zinc, got a zinc guys you need heaps of zinc in your oil when you're starting an engine for the first time keep in mind if you're running a large capacity sump you need more than five liters you'll actually need to top up another liter or so because it's a seven liter capacity in this uh, big wing sump always thing to keep in mind guys running the big sump get some more oil the winged sumps hold six and a half liters if you're filling it up for the first time and the oil filter's empty you'll need another half a liter in the filter so it's seven liters we're going to be using the lucas engine oil braking with the extra zinc which we're going to put in at the last minute we've got the five liters in already so far of this now when it comes to setting timing and ignition later on guys often don't remember that cleveland's run counterclockwise firing order so when you start to prime this oil you want to be spinning counterclockwise another thing you want to do after you turn it for a while if you get a few push rods and they don't all oil up you want to bump the crank around so that you're lining up the oil galleries in the crank with the con rods with the lifters to fill the lifter valley up and get it all done what you need for that guys always 15 16 medium extension and a half inch of a torque bar to turn the engine a little bit and that's the little so check this up guys taped it up so the sockets don't fall apart mint gonna prime the oil system right, okay right. so we'll get this in there gently guys so if we look down in here you'll probably just see the top of that oil pump drive shaft there and then we want to we want to get this on start spinning counter clock so what we do is i hold my hands here in the middle like a bush there is a special tool you can buy for these guys but if you if you're pretty steady 
There's a few just... different techniques, guys, because you're trying to purge the air out and the oil in, so you can go slow and steady. Did you hear that? Yep. Did you hear that? It's coming. I found slow and steady works a bit better than going too fast. People use a drill, there's really no need. Okay, so where we're looking, guys... Now's a good time to... We're keeping an eye on the rockers for the little the first signs of oil to come through the push rods. Now's a good time too if you have a mechanical oil gauge. You can actually have a look at it and you can see what kind of oil pressure you're getting before you start the engine. This car doesn't have one. It's only got a warning light being an XR through the early wiring. So what we want to see before we start the engine is oil at each rocker. Okay, you can hear it going a bit faster, guys. Listen to that. It's coming, it's coming. Here it comes, bro. All right, where's it gonna come out first? So you wanna basically see it come out of every single push rod hole. Yep, it foams up, so that all the air's purging out of the pump now, guys. The oil pump's getting full of oil. Keep watching the tips of the rockers. Generally, what happens with a Clevo is it'll pressurize and it'll hit the driver's side first, and yep. then the water crosses the over to here, the bro. passenger side. First one's going. Guys, look at that. Beautiful. We wanna see that at every, all 16. There we go, next one behind, it's going. Yep. Oh, the one in front, they're all going now. Oh, look at that, guys, in the harmony. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's what you, that's it, it guys. You didn't even have to bump the crank today. Okay, guys, first step, get a rag now because standard oh, yep. heads, it'll yep. leak out. It'll start to drip. So that's give you an advanced tip, guys. If you've got aluminium heads, the, the, height of the, um, the height of the rail off the head will stop the oil dripping. But on standard heads, guys, this rail here is a bit low. So pro tip, actually, pre-organize, get rags in there. We don't want to make a drip on this car. It's a beauty. This side's all sweet, bro. All primed and no drips. Perfect. This side's primed, look guys, oil, Everyone. oil, oil, this is what you want to see, the braking loop Yo. starting to... Just, Done just. guys, that's it. We can seal the covers up now guys, that is a crucial tip, you visually want to see, so you know in your mind that the oil passes... The other thing you don't want to do guys is pull a set of covers off that have just been sealed to do this stage, so just before you put them on, make sure you prime your oil. All you need is just this. a bit and then stop, you don't want to go too much otherwise it starts to pull out the side here. Alright guys, so we've got that prime, we're about to throw the rocket covers on. Now these are Ford Racing covers. A lot of you guys might not know, they actually make ARP, a proper bolt set that suits these covers so you don't have to go mucking around cutting bolts or shortening them with a nice 12 point head. This is the part number here, 454-7502, suit the Ford Racing 12 point, real nice. The other thing we've got over here from our gasket set, is the Falpro rubberized rocket cover gaskets. They'll work really nice. What I like to do with these guys, if you haven't got studs, is I like to glue them to the bottom of the rocket cover rail. Just so, when you put them on the head, what you don't want, and what goes wrong with these rubber gaskets, is if they're dry and you put them on, they move around, they wiggle. And if this moves to that side, because you've only got a thin clamping area between the bottom of the rocket cover here and the top of the head, the, the rubber can walk in or out and you will get a leak so if you put a, a nice thin bead of silicon all the way around here glue the rubbers onto here you can also pick them up gently and place them straight on the head and you won't be fighting through the gasket with these bolts it's a good little tip pays to do it while they're brand new too before there's any oil on there or anything like that otherwise you have to have a really good cleanup all right guys thanks for watching that's how you prime the oil system let's have another little bit of a look at this beauty of an xr we won't be doing the ice ignition today, we've done a fair bit of work today, but when we get back out here we'll make a whole video of that. Thanks for watching guys, smash the like and subscribe.